Hello and welcome to Blue Brick 33. Today I'll be reviewing the Lego Creator Expert Modular Parisian Restaurant. Now this set has 2,469 pieces. It is geared for 16 and older. And now this is a retired product. So you can't buy this from Lego. Now you can buy it probably from like eBay and stuff and that's how I actually bought this. So this has three levels and because it is a modular building, it can connect to other modulars that you have to make a Lego city. Now there is some gate pieces actually to make a nice awning for this and I'll show this in one second where I'm gonna show the outside first and not the back though and then I'll take a look at each section of the building and look at the back of each of those. Okay, so uh, on, the, on end there's some lights and the leaves on top. Really like how um, you build the pillars right here. And these flower pieces, especially like all these, just around it, are pretty loose. And it actually does say the first word in the restaurant name hidden under all the chairs and stuff, which is really neat. And you can't see it now, but it, it is really cool when you're building it and you just discover that. And, um, yeah, there the two little seats there with the croissant on one table and I'll show the minifigures um, after I show the set, but you can put one of the minifigures that it comes with in the chairs. Okay, so just gotta put that one back. Um, there is the windows here and you can kind of see some of the, the curtains in the first floor. And over here, there's the menu with a little carpet here. And it says the name of the restaurant. And then over here, there's just a little bench and a lamppost, some bushes, and the stairs up to a little um, outdoor seating place. And I'll show more of that with the back um, in a little bit. Now... There is on the second floor some windows here, some flowers, and on the top you actually use white croissants and seashells to make it look like that. And it's really neat how they don't look like those in the set. And that, they do that a lot with some of these modular sets and some other sets that I do own. Um, but yeah, very fun to build that. And yeah, now that it Let's take a look in the first floor and I'll show the back there. So you can just take the two floors off. You can also take this little outdoor scene place off and I'll show that after I show this part. Um, but in the back, there is a door to exit, some windows, a little vine or something like that, a little a little like water hose or something like that. And then there's garbage with like two pieces of cheese in there. There's also a little rat next to that. Um, and one, the best thing I think down on the second, or uh, um, on the back is this little dumpster where there's some stuff in there. Uh, it's a very neat build, very fun little build and it actually looks pretty good. So yeah, now let's take a look in the inside. So here is the inside. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but let's just take off this. And in here, when you go through the door, there is a little pot of flowers there. Ah, the thing is a little bending. And some of the stuff is popping off, but not too big of a deal. Now, inside there's a pot of flowers. And here there's just some studs so you can pose a figure in there. 
right here there's like a little wine case probably is and that is built into the wall whoops and just put that back up okay so then here there is two curtains, it's lamps, which is a really nice little build, and some chairs on the table, and a little painting on that wall. So yeah, and in the kitchen, there's a fridge. Now let me just get that open. Very, very, very hard to open, especially if something falls off. Just really hard. Where I wish like maybe some stuff could more pop off. But there's like some milk and some cheese in there. Kinda hard to see. Now one piece that I love is this turkey piece right here. Um it actually uses three pieces where there's the the two wing pieces where you could give somebody just a wing or the whole turkey. And you're even able to like clip it onto something where it doesn't tell you to do that. But there is a piece that looks like to just like clip it on. Like like the lantern. You're just able to clip it on like that. But you're not really supposed to. Only in like different sets. Where in this one it just allows you to put it down like that. And I love this little piece and it has two studs actually that let it fit down on there whoops you see how it's really difficult little or not with the turkey because of how big it is but especially like if one of those knives fall down that would be very hard to try to get now there's a little broom right there on a clip and here there is a little table which you're not meant to take out, but you can. There's the turkey on it. In one of the drawers, there is a pan, and the other one, there is absolutely nothing. And then right here, there's just a little pot on top of the stove. You know, there's nothing in the oven, but you can put something in the cupcakes that it comes with. And uh, while that's out, I'm just gonna show some more. Like right there, there's some cabinets. Can't really, oh, wait, you can kind of take it out, but the only problem is the knives and stuff on the wall are, are blocking it. There is two drawers that you can open. I'm gonna show um, that in a second, uh, right there. But they have nothing in it. Just gotta close this up. I love how this is built right here, the stack of plates, trying to get it. Okay, so you, you just get these same pieces that's on the top of the lamppost and you stack them like this. Turn them upside down. And then we get one of these pieces, put the hole in, and it's a really nice little build. Really like how that looks. So you can just put that back in there. And now next to that, there's two little cups, a rolling pin, and some knives. Now over here, there's two drawers. They do not have anything in those. There's a clock on the wall, some more windows, a little sink, even with a drain, which is kind of hard to see, but you might be able to barely see it. And now here's a little pie piece. really like this little piece. Here there's two cupcakes, two more drawers. I think I already mentioned that, though. And then here's the door to get out. So yeah, that is pretty much the first floor, except for there's the stairs leading to this awesome thing on the second floor where it's outside. I really like how this is built. And when you put it on, 
There's some little flowers and buckets with some lights on top. There's some seats. Really nice little thing on top. And now, oh, let's got to put this back in. Just got to take that off. Oh, and I did forget to mention there is one stud back there to pose a minifigure. Um, but let's just put this back on. And let's take a look at the second floor. So just take off the third floor and line these up. And we will take a look at the back first. So it actually all um, puts in place really nice. So there is a little door back here. Um, right here that can open to get into the house or the apartment I mean here there's some stairs another little balcony just like the front has one and yeah that's pretty much um, the back of this one where it is continuing this little pipe and we can just take this off to get a better look at the inside and at the bottom just does like look like this oh and one thing that i have to point out is that the chimney there is starting a chimney right here and i really like how the texture um on that is a bunch of these pieces with the one by one there one tile and it does line up all really nicely with everything here okay so now inside there's a swiveling chair that can move back up and swivel with like a tiny tiny coffee table there here's the fireplace with some fire in it here is a little lamp and then there's just where the windows are over here, there's something really cool. It's a little Murphy bed where you can just put it down and sleep. And then on daytime, you just can fold it back up. I really, really like that. And um, over here, there is a little table and a seat with a coffee mug on there. Here, there's a little um, microwave that could open, but there's nothing inside. Here there's a little pan on the stove with the oven that can open, but nothing inside. And in the drawers, there is, whoops, one came out. Very hard to now put it without having to take off the table. Um, there's nothing inside any of those drawers. And then here, whoops, um, one sec. Oh, here there is a little door that can open to get into the balcony right here the, the flowers are and then this door gets into the other balcony there so yeah that is pretty much the second floor when the first floor will always have the most um and these modular buildings usually um when the second floors and third floors they still have a good amount but definitely not as good of an interior so now let's look at the third floor where it does continue the chimney which does line up perfectly there and here on the back just ends a little pipe and just a lantern a pot uh just like one plant on it and that can come out, not supposed to though. There's some flowers. Let's, let's just put this back in. Now there actually is a lot of these, um, these pieces used in the set for like the lanterns, the flower baskets, the pots, um, a lot of stuff, which, which I like. Um, nice parts usage, usage for that. And let's just put the plant back in. Okay. So, there's the flowers there. And the door that opens here with a little awning. And there's a chimney here. And I 
don't really know what that is. Maybe like another little chimney thingy. And just there's the front, which I showed a little more in the beginning of the video. And right here, you can, to get into it, you don't take off the top. One thing that I really like is you can just slide this down and look inside and you see all the cool details. So, the first detail is this um, little like fireplace that can open and there's like one flame, really hard to see in here, a fire. And you can just put that back in or open it whenever you want. Over here, there's a little place to display one of the painter's paintings that she's finished. And there's a little easel with a paintbrush and a table with a paint palette. And that's really all that's in the third floor. So yeah, that is pretty much the building. Um, now let's take a look at the minifigures. So there's five of them in the set, plus that comes with like this little scooter, um, bike. So yeah, now the first one that we'll take a look at is her where they just have the generic smiles and no other face print on the back, just a smile. And here there's a little cup, her glass. So yeah, that's pretty much her. Her torso is um, pretty nice. But yeah, now he, I like the hair. He has a little tie and all of these figures have the generic smile. This one is the chef, the knife. And the generic smile and his little hat, chef hat. Here's the waiter. Love how they use this piece for the thing. Just tilt it up with a small bottle on it. And generic smile too. And the last one is the artist, it looks like. And she has uh, the generic smile, and I love this. Hair piece where I do like have one other, I think it is, in Ninjago City, um, which I'll review pretty soon. Not sure when I'll get to that though. And um, the last thing is this little bike where you can put somebody on there, have them hold the handles, but you have to like turn your hands. Really annoying to do that. And you can put somebody right there and have somebody there. So yeah, that is pretty much this set. I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe so you don't miss any more future reviews like this. And bye.